Hi Yarnabees! It's me, Sandy. Welcome back. Um, I don't even know what the date is. I haven't got a clue. It's March. <laughs> That's about all I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so how are you guys doing? I am trying really hard to keep a smile on because I tell you, I'll just be glad when this whole COVID thing is over. I'll just be glad. Because it's just, we just came, George and I just came back from the grocery store again. Except he wanted me to go with him. He was like, um, he says, well, aren't you going to come with me? Because George doesn't shop. Sorry, my hair is just going all over the place here. Um, he, do, he doesn't shop, right? But he has been lately because I was sick and I couldn't go and then like with my foot and everything I couldn't go so he was doing some shopping so he was getting a little bit of a taste of what it's like to actually be out in the big world <laughs> he doesn't like it. no so he says well you're coming with me aren't you and I says you know okay fine I'll go with you don't want to but I'll go with you. <laughs> so we went to the grocery store and for the most part it was okay. They've got big X's now on the floor um, done in duct tape, which is kind of funny, but because getting that shit off that floor later on is going to be a bit of a bitch. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I went to go on an X and the cashier's going, no, 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 you've got to back up. What? She says, go to the net, go to the other one, the, uh, the, the X. And I was like, I am going to the X. And she's like, she looks over and she's like, oh, okay. And I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like seriously, like, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, <clears throat> I kind of lost my mind a little bit. It's like, because I said to her, I says, well, why do you have an X there if I can't stand on it? And she's like, oh, oh, I didn't know there was one there. You don't know your own tail? Like, seriously? So, yeah, I got a little agitated. So, <laughs> I told George, I says, and this is why I don't want to go out because my temper is a little hot, you know, with all this stuff. So I, uh, you know, George, of course, is trying to make a joke of the whole thing and, and everything. And I'm just like, like, just quiet, quiet, inside voice. <laughs> He's like, well, I don't even know this girl standing beside me. <laughs> I'm like, really? And the lady at uh, the uh, lady that was paying for her stuff at the till goes, "Don't tell me you guys don't sleep together." And he looks down at the floor at the X and he goes, "There's not enough X in this relationship." <laughs> I'm like, "Would you stop? <laughs> like, stop!" I'm like, "Oh my God, whatever." Uh, so yeah, he's trying to make the best of it and I'm, I'm just losing my mind, losing my mind because I, he's not working right now and a George not working, it makes the whole house unpleasant. He very much so is a workhorse and he can't handle it when he's not out there working. So for some people that say, you know, I wish I wasn't working, I would rather be home quarantined, don't say that to George. He is losing his mind right now. <clears throat> people are canceling uh, jobs and stuff and he's not happy at all. And now the government's saying that you can't even apply for EI until the 6th of April and not the 1st of April. What are these people thinking? You know, it's like they should be able to apply right away because there's a lot of people out of work right now because of this and they need money now, not later, now, right? They've got bills to pay and, you know, 
we tried to get our mortgage deferred. They haven't even called us back. You know, so, you know, it's it's all going to hell. And they just don't see. All these government people, they're getting government checks. So they don't have to worry about it. Right? Well, they seem to have forgot that the little people need the, need money to pay their bills. Ooh, that's hot. <clears throat> tea. I'm actually drinking tea for a change. So anyway, so yeah, George is uh, a little, a little bit uh, unnerved. So having George at home isn't fun. It really isn't because he just, he gets really agitated. And then I get agitated and then I get really mad and then it's like just, you know, so <clears throat> this thing better hurry up and get over and done with. Anyway, um, so we were sitting there saying, you know, I don't even know anybody that has COVID that I know of, right? I mean, how many of us actually know someone? And then there was a message on Facebook and George's business, what the heck is he? A uh, marketing person. Um, he does all of George's advertising and all that stuff. <clears throat> Put a thing out saying that he thinks he has COVID-19. And he told the story of um, how he was passing out and he, he has a black eye because he hit something on the way down. You know, and then he's really sick, and the la 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 la, and he's separated himself from his family. He's in a rental place now, and I'm thinking, if you've already, if you have it, you, your family's already got it, right? Like, I'm sure, you know, because he was with them, and then all of a sudden he's seeing symptoms. Well, you've ha you've had it for a little bit before you even get the symptoms, so I'm like, whatever. He's trying to do good. <clears throat> And I'm going, great. Okay, George, when was the last time that you saw him? Right? It was quite a while ago. So, uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about. <sighs> yeah. So, that was a little close to home. I And the thing is, he hasn't even been tested. He's just assuming that that's what he has. So, it's like, okay. So, I'm just going to be a good girl. I'll sit here and crochet. So... I got some happy mail yesterday. I thought I had two happy mails, but it ended up being that one of the um, the card things in my mailbox was a, you should have picked up your package a while ago. We were going to send it back. <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. You know, like people aren't allowed out anymore and, you know, so checking our mailboxes is a little hard and stuff like that so anyway i got the package and guess who it was from yes i already opened it <laughs> it was from seta yes i got a package from seta and now that i've opened it it's like i was going all right her and i spoke about um, I, except when she's in BC, she, or when she was, in, yeah, in Canada and up in Northern BC, she was visiting these, um, this yarn shop and everything. And I was telling her, I says, oh, that's nice. That's nice. But does she have any, um, acrylic, right? And she said, no, she doesn't. And I'm like, of course, all the nice yarn shops never have acrylic. So she says, have you ever tried super soft merino wool? I'm like, well, I've tried merino wool and I'm allergic to it. And uh, she says, but have you ever tried super soft? And I'm like, mm, no. So she sent me some. I'm going, eek. So the card says, hey, Sandy, here's a little something fun for you to try out and see if it works for you. Hoping you don't have any reactions to it, then maybe you can use it. <clears throat> Uh, use this kind of merino. I figure there's enough here for a hat or a cowl or whatever you decide. Thank you for being you. Blessings, Seta. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, this, I was so happy when I opened this. I was like, Seta! <laughs> so 
she put something in here for my sister Charlene, which is sweet. Thank you. Um, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to see my sister for quite some time, so uh, I'll see if I can't get it to her. Uh, but yeah. And then she sent me this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like an embossed, like it's it's raised up. It's so pretty. And it's like little flowers, little notebook. So cute. So adorable. And then of course she sent me purple stitch markers. <laughs> I have never seen purple stitch markers. So that is so cool. I can't wait to use them. And then she sent me some chai tea. Oh, I'm so excited about If I had known, if, well, I did know. I couldn't use this yet because I hadn't shown you, but I would have had it in my tea, like in this tea. But oh. Okay. <clears throat> Then she sent me these buttons. Oh, they're so pretty. I think they're ceramic. Oh, no, they're, they're wood. Oh, they're wood. I thought they were ceramic. Now, hopefully I can, hopefully you can see this. It's not pretty. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. Owls. Can you see the owl? Ooh. Yeah. That's so cool. Can't wait to use them. I can always use buttons. <clears throat> and then she gave me three balls from drops I didn't even know that drops did um, wasn't drops a magazine I can't remember now anyways it's called big merino and it's a hundred it says a hundred percent wool and I was like <gasps> oh god and then I was like no calm down calm down it's okay we can do this um, because it just says 100% wool. It doesn't even say merino or anything like that on here. But I'll tell you, it does not feel like wool. Here we go. Okay. You see that? There's no halo on it. There's nothing that indicates that it's wool. Now, I thought I had, <clears throat> I thought I had, uh, I thought I had something similar, but I don't know where it would be. Huh, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm touching it. Hmm. It doesn't feel like wool. Not at all. Maybe it's a head game. Like if it doesn't feel like wool, maybe I'll pretend like it's not wool. Oh, there it is. It says right on the front. Duh. Super wash treated extra fine merino wool. <clears throat> I'm going to keep touching it for a little while and see if I have a reaction. But uh, yeah, she gave me three balls of this. So we'll see if I have a reaction. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if, we'll see if I have a reaction to it. I am itchy, but I don't know if that's just in my head or if it's really a reaction to it. But we will see. Maybe I'll start working with it and, and no, I won't, I won't start working with it because if I end up having, like I, I 
I feel okay right now. My hands aren't itchy. So maybe, maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> so thank you so much, Seta. That was so sweet of you. Um, I, I really hope that I can work with it because then I can make some blue hats for uh, the Hat Not Hate. So, yay! So thank you, thank you, thank you, Seta. Um, that was so sweet. And I'll, I will try really hard to get this to my sister. And uh, I'm sure she will love it. Okay. <sighs> I'm just really tired. I've been staying up until 2 in the morning. You know, it's like... Uh, I can't believe that. Like, I'm just... I'm starting to watch Netflix at night. And crochet. And uh, I'm just... I'm so tired. Slept until 10 this morning. I think I'm just getting depressed or something. <clears throat> As are we all. Hello. Okay. On to my foes. I, well, I made a hat. This is part Huga, part um, Premier Basic. I'm not sure what else. But I had this stuff left over from some projects that I did. So I just threw a few things, to, threw them together. Oop. I made a hat. So, yeah. See? So, yeah, I really like the way it turned out. Um, oh, and then I've got my new. Uh, if you guys can see this. Hang on, go. There we go. See that? That's my new can, um, Crochet A Canada label. So, ah, whew, that was, oops, I almost spilled my tea. Whoa. Oh, now the sun's coming out. Yay. Now I look really white. Holy cow. <clears throat> okay, so anyways, I made that. And then I finished, this was the Anu, um, Anu, uh, off the shoulder, whatcha who's it, thingy, jiggy, with the tassels. <laughs> Problem is, is it's way too big for me. Um, I would have to stitch it like way up here. I didn't realize when I did it that it was going to be so quite so big. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> so there's that. Ta-da! I finished my fiber spider pointed shawl. Yes, I did. And I made it really long though. Uh, and what I did too is I stitched up the side along here to make a sleeve. So, and I made a hat to go with it. Oop. See? So, yeah. Then there's the. Oop. So that goes with this. Uh, what did I make out? I make it out of. I made it out of. I'll show you the the picture. So yeah, so this it took me longer than I thought it was gonna make take. Uh, <clears throat> but of course, his is like that much shorter, right? Mine's quite a bit longer. Uh, <clears throat> but. I really like the way it turned out. It uh, it's really cute. I put a button up here, so um, maybe when George gets back, I'll put it on and get him to take a picture. Uh, 
Okay. That's all I think I have for you guys today. Um, don't forget that down below I have my Etsy shop and I'm, until April 1st I'm having 30% off of my all my patterns so if you're in lockdown like we are like I am <laughs> uh, and you want something to do go check out my patterns and um, yeah and if you do make one of my patterns I would love for you to put a picture of it in our Facebook page, Crochet A Facebook page, and uh, show us what you made. Okay, so that's it for me. Um, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to do all the, all the things. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. Bye!